What's up everyone? Uh, it's me, Luke, with Kevin from 2019C, and today we're going to do an explanation on our uh, version one of our uh, over-under robot. So, starting off, um, this is our bot, and it's a catapult bot, uh, and we have a just a rubber band intake, right? It's from like ch uh, change up or yeah, change, change up, and then we have um, it's our grabber for uh, the acorns on the corners during match loading, and also for the pipes. And then we have some sleds here, and then we have a um, it's supposed to be like they're supposed to be wings, but uh, they are. It's not. They're unpowered right now. Like this and they won't. They would never be powered. So yeah, because if you haven't gotten the motto yet, we're not working on this anymore because it's kind of mid at best. We'll have Kevin do an explanation. Yeah, so, catapult. Um, this is a catapult. Um, uh, forty RPM. Um, slip gear runs on sixty six, and it's double slip. It's double slip gear, so we can fire twice for every rotation. So the cycle time is like around 0.5 seconds. You want to? Yeah. For the catapult, we did run into jamming issues when firing too fast, so we have to. Sh we don't have to. We can't shoot it that fast. And also, the arc is pretty low, but we can make it higher. We were just testing if we can shoot into the goal, and for answer is no, we can't shoot into the goal. Not without like a, no, lot, of a lot of power. And yeah. like it's not worth it at that point. You might as well you might as well go punch it. And like if you're going to build something like this, you might as well just go for a higher arc because you'd rather just not get blocked by other people. And then um, there's the intake. It's a banded intake, so pretty fast. And then fairly consistent. But then uh, we we were originally gonna uh, piston power this, but we did run out of space for an air tank, and we didn't really feel like making more space for an air I tank. Mean, it was also a little bit scuffed, like. But I mean, it it kind it kind of worked. Um, yeah. It's yeah. So. The other thing you can do is like, on, yeah, like the other thing that you can do is like, if you time it perfectly, like, you can get the ball kind of just like wedged in. Oh here. yeah, here I can show you. Um, so yeah, like, like that, and like then that. and then now it's you can score with it and stuff, with just like the front. Yeah, I mean the one thing that like I don't like about it, like a rubber band intake, at least the first layer, so like it's kind of hard to push it into the goal because like it's so like sure. yeah. Go to on. The, um, so whenever whenever we're at the goal, one issue that we found out is that the sprocket actually hits the top of the goal, so it makes it very difficult for the tribal to actually go in. So we have to give it another push, and usually it has to be like a back push, which will make which will waste a lot of time because then we have to turn around and stuff. One more thing is our here's our grabber for the acorns. So like here, let's keep the field full. Yeah. The outside the field great, demonstration yeah. here. Um, whatever this, so dr supposedly in the auto we're supposed to grab the acorn, so this comes in here, and then we can just get it right back. Currently it's kind of like scuffed, but yeah, we just right back and it just comes it's out. Yeah, and then for the climb back, you might be wondering if you've seen, it's supposed to be a, four bar, a double reverse four bar, but we ended up just also like, kind of just, we kind of just like, well, for one, we're working on another bot, so like we kind of just lost motivation to work on it. And the other, the bigger issue really was that it's like PTO is no space as well. PTO no, like there's just no space period on this bot. And like to be fair, we didn't really, we didn't really cab this or anything. We kind of just put stuff on. But like, um, yeah, it's not very space efficient. Yeah, and then um, taking a look at the bottom of the robot, uh, we have two odometry wheels. So this is just to show that there is like, this is just going to be like a setup. And then this one uh, is kind of interesting because it goes, because the rotation sensor actually goes on this side of, this, of the one by one and the wheel goes on this side. So that fits in the between pretty well. So that saves a lot of space. And this one just goes between the, um, what call it, the, the tower. And then there's a hard stop that's made from like this um, plastic piece here. Yeah. And then we also have rotate. We also don't have a limit switch on the catapult. We actually have a rotation sensor. This could be honestly why it's not working as well. But see it there. It's just jammed, jammed already. Yeah. So it's not very good. Very scuffed. Um, but yeah. Um, 
I mean, our, the other part of the reason is that we haven't really maintained this spot at all. So like, like. Anyways. <laughs> oh yeah. Hey, come, come, come. Get a close up of this. Uh, here is the. These are the sleds, and it's bent for a very specific reason. And it's because it was too weak. Yeah. So <laughs> these these do help a lot. I feel like the uh, the gear ones actually works better than like plastic ones since they you can start from not moving at all and then go onto it pretty really really easily since these can free spin very very easily so you can start we can just like completely not have any momentum and just go on top yeah if you were to do this um probably not low strength because these might snap after you use them a lot so yeah maybe use high probably use high strength also not cancer lever like what we did yeah. <laughs> that's never a good idea actually maybe spin up spin up cancer lever i think that's fine um anyways let's have a good thumbnail basically die and we're screwed hey so. y'all going to moa hey y'all are lucky we're not going with this spot yeah nobody is destroyed nobody is smoked honestly like y'all are getting smoked with this right here bro high level tech right here high level tech yeah. oh it's supposed to be piston powered but we wouldn't have six for an air tank so it's it's just it's it's manually powered it's hand powered Hand powered into. Yeah. Bro, why, why are you just crapping on the VOD for the whole video? Bro? I don't know. I mean, it's pretty bad. I mean. No, no, no. no, no, no sorry. It's, it's the best VOD that we've ever built. So. Oh, shoot. Yeah. We should get like a. Oh, wait. Now we're for real. Um, so drive train 450 RPM. Actually, we should just read. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I lowered the arc a lot because we were testing if it can shoot into the goal. And it cannot shoot into the goal. <laughs> it's yeah. <all> <laughs> 